my dear students how are you today i will take your fifth class of correlation and regression i have finished your correlation today i will discuss regression okay so do you what is regression do you know what is regression regression is the statistical technique with the with help, the help of how we, we, we establish regression is the statistical technique with the help of which we establish a mathematical relation by an equation between an independent and dependent variable and from this equation for a given value of an independent variable we can calculate the average value or expected value of a dependent variable is called regression in in case of correlation there is no dependent variable and independent variable but in regression there are dependent variable and independent variable say the sales of a product of a company is depend on its advertisement if the advertisement cost is more then sales may also be more okay so or the production of the rice is depend on irrigation kinds of seeds modern technique and fertilizer and other things that is there are some regression between the rice production of rice and the fertilization irrigation etc so regression is the statistical technique with the help which we establish a mathematical relation by an equation that is regression sometimes it is an equation and independent variable is depend on dependent variables and by the change of independent variable we can find how much change in dependent variable this is called regression now types of regression regression are two types simple regression and multiple regression when for one independent variable average value or expected value of dependent variable is calculated then it is called simple regression that is simple regression equation of y on x y equal to a plus bx here y is dependent variable and x is independent variable again simple regression equation of x on y that is x equal to a plus by here y is independent variable and x is dependent variable and a and b are constant and multiple regression there are many 
that is more than two independent variables and one dependent variable. When for two or more independent variable, average value or expected value of dependent variable is calculated, then it is called multiple regression. It is denoted by y equal to a plus b1x1, b2x2 plus dot dot bnxn. Now regression line. Considering two related variables, one dependent and the other independent, if plotted in a graph paper, and then a straight line is obtained when we plot the points of x and y, that is dependent variable and independent variable, we, by joining the point, we get a straight line. This line is called regression line. Let us suppose that in the bivariate x i y i, that is i equal to one, two, three up to n, that is x one, y one, x two, y two, x two, x three, y three, dot dot x n y n is plotted on a graph paper and for each pair of values we will get a point and by joining this point we get a straight line this is called the regression line this is denoted by y equal to a plus bx now regression equation more or less same to regression line Regression equation is an algebraic expression of regression line is called regression equation. Regression equation comes from a regression line. Algebraic expression of regression line is called regression equation. The two regression equation for two state regression line are y equal to a1 plus b1x. It is regression equation of y on x and x equal to a2 plus b2y a2 plus b2y this is regression equation of x on y regression equation of x on y Now regression coefficient. The average changes of dependent variable due to one unit change of independent variable is called the regression coefficient. We consider two regression equations. These are y equal to a1 plus b1x. This is regression equation of y on x and x equal to a2 plus b2y. This is regression equation of x and y. Here, the, these equations, a1, a2, and b1, b2, are constants. And regression coefficient are b1 and b2. b1 is regression coefficient of y on x. And b2 is regression coefficient of x on y. If y is earlier, that is, it will be regression coefficient of y on x. If x is earlier, then b2 will be regression coefficient of x on y. This is the formula of two regression coefficient. This is very important. If you want to solve the mass of regression, these two are very needed. So you should memorize this formula. B1 equal to BYx. BYx is regression coefficient of Y on X. BYx is regression coefficient of Y on X. Equal to summation XA minus X bar Y minus Y bar divided by root over summation XA minus X bar square equal to covariance of x, y, sigma square x. Here, sigma square x is variance of x, equal to summation of x, y, minus summation x, summation y by n. 
divided by summation x square minus summation x whole square by n. There are three formula here. First, second, third. These three are important, but the last one is very important. You should memorize the last one because this is very important. In maximum cases, we will follow the third one. We will follow the third formula. Okay, and B2 is Bxy, regression coefficient of x on y, x on y, is y is later, then y will be denominator. In numerator is same, always same, summation xy minus summation x, summation y by n. Numerator is always same, summation x minus x bar, y minus y bar, divided by root over summation y minus y bar square. Actually, the third one is the simplified form of first one. If we simplify the first formula, then we will get the third formula. Okay. If covariance is given or variance is given in your mass, then we will follow the second second one. So these two formula B1 and B2, in more in some cases you may confuse that these are like same, but if y1x that is is x is later on, then the denominator will be x. If x on y, that is y is later, then denominator will be y, okay? Uh, numerator is same. In both cases, numerator is same. So, bxy equal to summation of xy minus summation of x, summation of y by n, divided by root over summation y square minus summation y whole square by n, okay? You should memorize this two formula. Now, how do you fit the regression line by the least square method? We take a regression equation of y on x, y i equal to a plus b x i plus e. Here, a and b are constant and e is sampling error. Okay. y cap equal to a plus b x i and e i equal to y i minus y cap that is y i minus what is the value of y cap a minus b x i that is y i minus a minus b x i if i take summation and square in both side that summation e i square equal to summation y i minus a minus b x i whole square let this whole equation is s in the least square method we know that del s by del a del s by del a equal to zero and del s by del b equal to zero. And y a equal to y bar minus b x bar. And b cap, that is regression equation of y on x that I discussed earlier, equal to summation of x i minus summation of x summation y by n divided by summation x squared minus summation x whole square by n. So y a cap equal to what? Y bar minus bx bar. Now, what is the value of y cap? A cap plus b1 cap xi. This is the fitting form of regression equation. Here we can find the, we can put the value of a and b1 then we'll get the equation of y equal to a plus b1x, okay? If you know the value of a, b, and x, I, then we can get the value of y. It will be very easy for you when we solve the mass, okay? This is theoretical things, but when we go to the practical, that is, if we solve the mass, it will be very easier for you. Now, the properties of regression coefficient. It indicate the rate of change of dependent variable in terms of independent variable. Number two, it is independent on the change of origin, but depend on scale. In the coefficient of correlation, you got that Coefficient of correlation is 
independent both the origin and scale. But here, regression coefficient is independent only for change of origin, but depend on scale. It is free from A, but depend on C. The geometric mean of two regression coefficient is equal to the coefficient of correlation, number three. Geometric mean of two regression coefficient is equal to the coefficient of correlation, that is, coefficient of correlation R x y equal to root of R b y x into b x y. Number four, the arithmetic mean of two regression coefficient is greater than coefficient of correlation, that is, b y x plus b x y divided by two, b y x plus b x y divided by two is greater than R. Number five, it is asymmetrical. That is, b y x not equal to b x y. Number six, if one of the regression coefficient is greater than one, then other must be less than one. That is, if b x y is greater than one, then b y x less than one. Or e, if b x y less than one, then b y x greater than one. The value of regression coefficient lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. Minus infinity to plus infinity. If the regression coefficient are positive, then sign of coefficient correlation also positive. If the regression coefficient are negative, then the sign of coefficient correlation also negative. But we know that negative, negative, multiply, if we multiply negative and negative, that is minus minus the plus. But in case of regression coefficient, if you find the product, then coefficient correlation also be negative. The unit of regression coefficient depends on the unit of the variable. So the coefficient of correlation is not a pure number. This is also the difference of coefficient of correlation. Coefficient of correlation is a pure number, but regression coefficient is not the pure number. Okay, these are the properties. These are very important for MCQ also. Now the difference between correlation and regression. If two related variable, if the effect of change of one variable effect on the change of other, then the variable between then the relation between the variable is called correlation. The process by which we can calculate the average value of dependent variable by putting any value of independent variable. Number two, the cause and effect of relation is not clearly indicated through correlation coefficient. Number two of regression, the cause an effect of relation is clearly indicated in case of regression. Number three, in correlation coefficient, there are no concept about independent and dependent variable. But in regression analysis, we find the clear concept about independent and dependent variable. For x and y variable, rx y equal to r y x. But in case of regression, b x y not equals to b y x. Okay, r x y equal to r y x. This is that is they are symmetrical, and in case of regression, b x y not equals to b y x. That is they are asymmetrical. Correlation coefficient lies between minus one to plus one. That is minus one less than or equal to r less than or equal to plus one. The value of r lies between minus one to plus one. Regression coefficient lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. Coefficient correlation is independent of change of origin and scale. It is independent both on origin and scale. But regression coefficient is independent only for origin, but depend on scale. There is a linear relationship between two or more variables. A linear or a curved line relationship between two variables. Correlation 
is the unit fee number. It is not unit fee number. That is, regression is not unit fee number. Regression is not Q number. There is, if I calculation calculate, the regression will be, have the unit, but correlation have no unit. In my next class, I will solve a creative mass. Okay, so hope for the best. Tomorrow, in my next class, I will solve a creative mass. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. If you arise any problem, then you can contact me. You will see my Zoom class also. You can ask anything confusion anything do you have any problem in my record class you can ask in my zoom class or you may contact me okay i will help you inshallah thank you very much thank you okay have a nice day thank you